So it looks like the list of young industry men that Diddy allegedly SA'd is longer than we thought because word on the street is that Barshir Gray is one of Diddy and other industry men's victims. Child, people are saying that Will Smith was in it too. And when Brashear tried to expose them, they allegedly got him banned and blacklisted from Hollywood. So what really is the truth? Okay, so at this point, I guess it's safe to say that we are in full swing in the surviving Diddy era. And the latest person who is being alleged to have been a victim of Diddy is Brashear Gray. Brashear was one of the biggest breakout stars on the show Empire. And for a long time, fans have been wondering how Brashear went from being on a major show like Empire to disappearing from the industry like nothing happened. Well, as it turns out, Brashear's disappearance from the industry was not entirely his choice because he was allegedly forced out by some powerful people. You see, after Empire ended, there were high hopes for his career, but unfortunately, he never lived up to the expectations. As a teenager, Brashear met Charlie Mack, who later became his manager, and things changed for him because Charlie used his connections in Hollywood to land Brashear an online audition for Empire. Things went well for him, and he landed the role of Hakeem Lyon on Empire, which was a pretty big deal because at the time, Empire was one of the biggest shows on TV. A few weeks after joining Empire, Charlie introduced Brashear to Will Smith, and they developed something of a mentor-mentee relationship. Having access to a star like Will as a newbie in Hollywood should have been a major bonus point for Brashear, but unfortunately, it turned out to be his biggest undoing. Allegedly, Will introduced Brashear to Diddy because Brashear had always wanted to be a rapper, and Will wanted to give him a leg up in the industry. Or so it seemed, because looking back now and knowing the things we know about Diddy and Will Smith, that should have been a major red flag. But at the time, nobody knew that Diddy has some major skeletons in his closet. For some context, there have been reports for more than 20 years that Diddy and Will Smith were on the DL. Multiple people in the industry have accused them of doing some unspeakable things to other men in the industry. For example, Alexis Arquette, who knew Will on a personal level, spilled the tea that Will's first marriage to Cherie Zampino ended because Cherie caught him in bed with a man. Alexis wrote, when Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him, servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. She being his first wife, paid off silent. Alexis Arquette wasn't the only one who spoke on Will because Jaguar Wright also came out to reveal that Will had affairs with multiple younger men in the industry. She claimed that he pretends to mentor the men, but then he allegedly forces them into a relationship that leaves them traumatized. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray <laughs> left that house screaming. August, the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a dog. This kind of makes us think harder about how Will was mentoring Brashear, doesn't it? And not just that, but he allegedly introduced him to Diddy for further mentoring in music, which is interesting because Brashear's music career never really took off despite being mentored by one of the biggest names in the business. Also, can we talk about the fact that Diddy was investigated a while ago for allegedly being intimate with younger men? Back in 2013, there were reports that Diddy was being investigated by federal agencies for sleeping with young guys. According to reports, during a debriefing session with federal investigators, James Roseman, the music manager turned cocaine kingpin, was reportedly questioned about the sexual preferences of entertainers, including whether Sean Diddy Combs was having intimate relationships with underage boys, according to a U.S. District Court filing. Then Cassie's lawsuit came, and it unmasked Diddy for who he truly was. Cassie revealed that Diddy had a thing for male escorts and would force her to participate in freak-offs with the escorts while she watched and sometimes got intimate with the escorts. Needless to say, Cassie's lawsuit emboldened Diddy's victims and we have seen multiple people come forward and talk about the mistreatment they suffered when they were with Diddy. And now fans are saying that Brashear is one of Diddy's victims and if not Diddy, at least some similar higher up industry men. You see, after Empire ended, Brashear's life just went on a very rapid downfall. While many would agree it was all because of his own mistakes, there are still many who believe that he started acting out after what he experienced in the industry. 
After Empire, Brashear released some songs that performed decently, and he even had plans to go on tour, but it was almost as if he was blacklisted from the industry. He lost many movie roles, and nobody in the music industry wanted to work with him. He got little to no radio airplay. Now, allegedly, Brashear pissed some higher ups in the industry off after he refused to be involved in something he was not comfortable with, and that got him banned and blacklisted from the industry. This left him traumatized and his mental health took a big hit, which lines up perfectly with what Jaguar Wright said about Will. I'm talking about the part where she said that he pretends to mentor the men, but then he allegedly forces them into a relationship that leaves them traumatized. Well, Brashear was traumatized, all right, and he started to act out. In July 2020, a woman named Candace ran into the streets and begged a random passerby for help, claiming that she was a victim of DV and that her husband had been aggressive toward her. The passerby took her to the police station and that was where she claimed that she was Brashear's wife and that's how we found out that Brashear was married. Good evening, thanks for joining us. Up first tonight, we're following breaking news in the arrest of Brashear Gray, one of the stars of the hit show Empire. Tonight, we're seeing hours of new video from his July arrest that ended with his wife flagging down police and telling them the actor had assaulted her for hours inside their Goodyear home. She told the police that Brashear put his hands on her and choked her until she passed out. She also claimed that she had confronted him about cheating on her, which made him angry and led to him putting his hands on her. The alleged crime, brutal. Gray's wife calling 911 after escaping him at a Goodyear QT, claiming Gray punched her hundreds of times, strangled her, and threatened her with a knife. He was charged with a felony aggravated a misdemeanor and a misdemeanor disorderly misconduct. His mugshot went viral on social media and people couldn't stop talking about how he looked different, with some people wondering if he used drugs. He ended up taking a guilty plea for the DV, pleading guilty, and he was sentenced to 10 days in county jail and three years probation. And this wasn't even the first time he got into it with the law. Brashear tried making another attempt at getting back into Hollywood by going to auditions, an inside source even revealed he even offered himself to a producer to get a role at half the pay so that he could relaunch his career, but it seems no one wanted to work with him because he has been blacklisted. And this is how people reacted to this mess. It's not his fault he wants to succeed and trust his elders, it's his elders' fault for taking advantage. He just didn't have trustworthy adults in his life that he trusted. It seems they were all out to satisfy their pleasures. And as far as Smith, you can take a look at his family and see something is just not right here. But do you guys believe Brashear was also a victim of Diddy or other predators in the industry? Drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.